And a good morning. It's the today is May 31st, last day of May here. And yes, the weather for May has been pretty much average. We had an average high of 73. Our average low was around 57, 58. Uh, the hottest temperature of May was 90 degrees around May 14th and on May just a few days before that on May 11th it was 50 degrees so we really had a lot of bipolar weather in May as well yeah 50 is really chilly 90 is really hot and um, well it's gonna be a little warmer today it was only 72 degrees yesterday on Memorial Day but the weather was perfect all weekend except for Saturday, which was cloudy, but Sunday and Monday were pretty awesome. Um, and of course, a lot of people are returning to work today. Some people are returning back to school for the end of, toward the end of the school year, you know, because su summer break's coming up in a few weeks. Unless some kids want to go to summer school, you know, just for some extra credit. Yeah. Summer school always had extra credit. Yeah. Also, um, well, a happy birthday to our manager, Dave Roberts. Happy birthday, Skip. Yeah, happy birthday, Dave Roberts, Kenny Lofton, Jake Peavy, also to David Fletcher, the Angels. Also a happy birthday to Woodwind player, Michael uh, Marty Ehrlich. Also, a happy birthday going out to rappers Kit Frost and to Daryl McDaniels from Run DMC. And also a happy heavenly birthday to John Bonham, the drummer of Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Well, uh, it was a tough loss for the Dodgers last night. Well, they were down 4 nothing early. Well, Bueller didn't have a good night, though, at first. I mean, yeah, sometimes, but at least he got a no decision. But he did have seven strikeouts. I mean, I thought he, he was butane though. And, uh, but yeah, but the Dodgers chipped away though at the end. Well, we had home runs by uh, Edwin Rios and to, um, yeah, Mookie Betts hit his 15th home run and so did uh, Hanser Alberto hit his first home run. However, the Dodgers rallied in the eighth inning to take a 5-4 lead, only for Craig Kimball to blow his first save of the season and be the hard luck loser. Yeah, well, he he got the first out, but then he, he gave up a walk and had a wild pitch, and then a base hit and an error would give the Pirates a comeback win. I mean, Craig Kimball hasn't really been that effective either. I mean... But yes, the Dodgers must win tonight and try to get a win on Dave Roberts' birthday, which would be huge. Also, the Angels were off yesterday, but they're back in action tonight in the Bronx against the Yankees. The Nationals will play the uh, Mets today. And the cheating Astros beat Oakland yesterday, too, and they're back at it again today. Uh, the Giants beat the Phillies in extras last night, so today's a must win for the Phillies. But the good news is that the Cardinals beat the Padres six to three. And well, all right, let's go Mets. Uh, let's go Angels today. Uh, let's go Dodgers for sure. Try to get a win. Go Phillies and go Cardinals, and go A's. Meanwhile, um, well, the NBA Finals start in two days. And yes, as lifelong Laker fans. You should be rooting for the Warriors. Well, we don't really have a have a rivalry with them or a big, huge history, but I just did some research that we actually played the Warriors in the playoffs twice, back in 1987 and 1991 during Showtime. And yes, we beat the Warriors in the in the second round both times. But yeah, we would end up winning the NBA title back in '87 and come up short in '91. You know. Of course, 91 was the end of Showtime. And during the rest of the decade, everything was lean for the Lakers. Because one dynasty was ending and another one was just beginning. Yeah. We're talking about the Chicago Bulls that had their won six championships in eight years. 
with the Houston Rockets sandwiched in between. Yeah, so. Yes, it, I'm, I'm hoping that next year it will be the Lakers against either the Nets or the Knicks. Yeah, the New York Knicks haven't won a championship in almost 50 years. Yeah, it's a good thing you're not a Knicks fan. Yeah, well, Brooklyn, of course, is due to win a championship as well. I mean, L.A. New York would be amazing, just like in baseball. Dodgers, Yankees, Mets, Angels, the two largest cities in the country. Um, well, meanwhile, uh, have a good rest of your Taco Tuesday. I'll catch you later. Amen.